Hey, an educated economist here. I'm going to try and keep my voice down a little bit. Um, the house is still sleeping, but I just had to come out and talk about the bond market real quick. So there is less than 40 basis points separating a one-month treasury and a 30-year bond right now. Holy moly, guys. The prices of these or the uh, interest on these 30-year bonds are dropping like crazy. The long-term rates are dropping. The very short term, the one month is actually going up. So what we're having is that we're having this in dipping of the yield curve. So if you're not quite familiar with what's going on there, um, typically, just kind of like buying a house, if you take out a 15-year loan, you're going to pay lesser of an interest rate than a 30-year loan. Well, bonds are very much the same way. So a short-term bond is going to pay a lesser interest rate than a long-term bond of, say, 30 years, which would pay a higher interest rate. So what you have is you have this yield curve, right? So the short-term rates pay lesser and lesser interest rates. As you go out to the longer terms, they pay higher interest rates, and you have this like kind of a bending of the yield curve as they reach out on the on the uh, interest rates as they go up. Well, what you have right now is you have a short-term interest rate paying more than the long-term interest rates as far as the medium term goes. So, for example, the one month is paying 2.485, but a five year is paying 2.26. So you can see that the one month is paying more than the five year, and then it starts bending back up and going back out to the longer term until you get to the 30 year of paying at 2.89%. So we have like this big dip in the yield curve going right now. And if this continues where the long term continues to drop and it isn't going to need to go much farther, only 40 basis points, then we're going to have an inversion of the yield curve. And at this point, this is where credit markets start to freeze up. Kind of give you an example, banks borrow money at a short term for a lesser interest rate and then loan it out long term at a higher interest rate and they keep the profits in between. Does that make sense? So if the interest rate on shorter term rates are higher than the longer term rates, then they don't have any place to borrow from in order to loan it out for a profit. So anyway, here, let me give you guys a shot of this and then we'll... All right, so you can see there the US one month at 2.485 and then the 30 year down here at 2.89. And there's the changes of the on the side over here. So you can see the long term is dropping faster than the short term and the extreme short term, the one month has actually gone up. Okay, an educated economist, we'll talk to you guys later.